Hey, what's up guys? Tito here with Aloha Android and today I just basically want to let you guys know that um, I did try a root method for the LG Tribute 5 and I was successful in getting it rooted. However, it's, it's kind of weird so I'm just going to explain to you guys and I'll do another video basically going more in depth. But I did upload a vlog video on my vlog channel, link in the description, where um, I rooted it, and uh, so you guys will see like the process that I had to go through. It's it's kind of a sketchy video. It's not like, the best quality video, but um, you do see me actually root the Tribute Five, and um, so it is rooted. It, it doesn't use Super SU, so I don't have Super SU installed. I have uh, Kingo Root installed, which I'll show you guys. Uh, I have Kingo Root right there, and yes, it is rooted as I am using uh, Link to SD. And if you use link to SD, you have to have root in order to have a secondary partition on your SD card uh, become readable. So yeah, as you guys can see, my second partition is readable. So a lot of my apps is actually pushed onto it. Um, so it you know it's it's helping the Tribute Five actually run a lot better. And I intend to use this device for a few days, just you know play around with it. I I rarely use this phone, so try to get it you know put it through its paces. Um, so I can tell you guys right now, it's, it's uh, as far as like the performance of the device, it's pretty much still the same sort of. Um, Facebook doesn't really slug the phone down anymore because it's actually now on my second partition of my SD card. So, all, you know, the app is not taking up any of the internal storage. And of course, running apps like Greenify to kind of um, put apps in hibernation that uh, I don't want consuming the battery and also RAM. Um, you know, really, really, really helps. So, yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and root the phone since uh, there was no talks about it ever getting marshmallow. So if it's not going to get, you know, marshmallow or anything like that, then I have nothing to lose rooting the phone. So, therefore, um, link in the description to uh, download Kingo Root. You can do this without PC. So you don't need a PC for it. You just install Kingo Root, run it, and um, it will root. Now, one thing I did find very funny, which made it a little sketchy also, was the fact that um, I downloaded Root Checker to make sure that there was root access. And Root Checker says that this device is not rooted, which I thought was weird. So I was attempting to use Kinga Root again, but I decided just to double check. So I downloaded some applications that require root permissions. And of course, Kinga Root popped up with the whole thing of, you know, granted permissions to uh, have super user access. And doing that, link to SD and Greenify, both work. So um, I got to say, it, you know, it actually did work. So uh, link in the description for uh, Kinga Root. Basically, what you want to do uh, to root your device is go into settings. And when you go into settings, basically, you'll go down to about device. And when you click on that, you will go into uh, software info. You'll tap build number five times until developer options is open. Uh, once you have developer options, um, well, here, let me do it for you guys because it's not open around mine. Um, but, yeah, so you have a build number. You're going to tap that a bunch of times until developer options is open. So when you go back to your main settings, then right above about device, you'll see developer options. You want to click that and uh, make sure that USB debugging is checked on before you you uh, use Kingo root to root the device. So that's it. Just quick update. LG Tribute 5 for Boost Mobile root um, is, is working great. No uh, custom recovery whatsoever. Not that I've, you know, I've scoured the internet looking for one and there's not one yet. Hopefully there'll be one in the future. I'm not sure if there'll be any custom ROM. So if you're going to ask those questions, I don't know. Um, I just know that there's root for the device. So if you need root permissions, or if you need your phone rooted to get super user permissions so you can do certain things with your Tribute 5, uh, there is a method. It does work. Even though it was posted a couple of months ago, it still works um, on my Tribute 5. So I'll also link my video from my vlog where I rooted uh, the phone. I took a chance and rooted the phone. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you have not. Uh, check out some of my other videos if you guys don't mind. If you guys find anything of your liking. Go ahead. Um, and, yeah, you guys will see me in the next one. So have a great night, guys. Bye.